Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Welcome, welcome to Dilettante Ball. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilettante Ball, we go on Wikipedia. We click random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we, we do that. Uh, first, real quick, we wanted to mention something at the top of the show. <laughs> we are currently doing, as a network, not just us, mm-hmm. uh, a survey, uh, and part of this survey. So, uh, let's start from the beginning. What is a survey? <laughs> well, Is it? A? <laughs> I guess it's a test. Um so if you go to arcadeaudio.net slash survey, there's a very quick survey to get some information about you, right. our listener. Right. Social uh, security number. That's, that's really it. it. Yeah. 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 Um, wouldn't it be funny if it was to collect the social security number, but it was like, it was nine different questions. And it was like, what's the first <laughs> digit of your social security number? What's the, you know, that's funny. Or, but it would be, it'd be out of order. So like the first question would be like, what's the fifth number? So like you, the, the participants wouldn't catch on what we were doing. That's smart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, too late. <laughs> you hit submit. Um, but yeah, so we just, we're, we're doing, um, the network's growing and we're, we're, we're getting to a, a place where we might be maybe courting some advertisers at some point. Um, so if you want some advertisers that don't suck shit, then maybe fill out the survey. And if you fill out the survey, um, you get entered, uh, what was it, a $50, $50 gift card. If we're doing a drawing. Everyone who submits the survey gets entered into a drawing to win a $50 gift card. I don't know to where. I'm pretty sure it's to um, CVS. Borders. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and, and then if, if in the future we ever do have advertisers, hopefully it won't just be mattresses, unless we find out that everyone is really into mattresses. Yeah, what if everyone we know just like sleeps? Man, I was thinking about when I was in high school. I slept on just a mattress, no box spring, no no bed frame, no nothing, just a mattress on the on the carpeted floor of my room, and I chose to use a sleeping bag for my 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 comfort. Can I one up you? I or can't imagine you can, but one down you. Sure. You can when try. I was in high school, I started. So it's early high school. I slept on a futon. Very good. And I said, "This is not comfortable." So for late high school and when I would go home during college, I would sleep on uh, the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so I just put all my bedding uh-huh. on the floor sure, and slept on the floor. I hope that you still had like a fitted sheet and everything that you just flopped down on yeah. the floor. <laughs> and and um, God bless her. Yeah. Uh, Jessica would come oh and when God. she would stay at my house, she would sleep on my goddamn floor. That's Absolutely, that's the craziest part of the story. Yeah. Here, that she, I'm a criminal. You, <laughs> every man is a criminal and every woman is a saint. And I can't believe that they let let us be. <laughs> they ought not. They ought not. Every every day I'm amazed. You know, baby, I'm amazed <laughs> the way you love me despite making sleep on the floor. <laughs> um. So anyway, arcadeaudio.net slash survey. Yeah, and and you know, just I think that we'd we'd be. Foolish not to just acknowledge the Bantha in the room. Uh-huh. The new, the new and final Star Wars does come out in two days' time. It does. Um, Johnny, you and I know essentially nothing about the movie. Uh, I Yes, correct. Um, we barely know the title. Yes. I've never said it aloud, and I've never heard it aloud, but <laughs> I have read so it. Good. Um, and I love that about this movie, that we're going to go into it and just be like, let's have some fun. Let's go you know? see a Star Wars. I'm excited to see a Star Wars. You know what I what I tried to do? What? That is it actually So we're seeing it in 3D, which is unfortunate, but it was we're in a pretty big group and it it was the only it's the way it broke out. It, yeah. Although the first time we saw Force Awakens was in 3D and I was not disappointed honestly. I was no, like it was fine. I I saw it and I actually was like I saw it again in 3D. That's really funny. Isn't that? Yeah, I was like I actually liked this. Anyway, so I I work really close to the arc light. Sure. So the other day I went in and I was like, "Hey, I know this is weird, but can I have two pairs of 3D glasses?" Okay. Because I would like to make 2D glasses. What? If you just take like two left lenses, uh-huh. that's 2D glasses, baby. <laughs> I don't understand. Is this a real thing you did or are you joking? I honest to God did this. They would not give me 3D glasses. Why did you want to One person that? was like, let me get my manager. Uh-huh. That person came down. They were like, let me ask my manager. Wow. We went all, all the way to the top. top. They would not let me take two pairs of 3D glasses. Because I'm honestly a little worried that I will have... Vertigo. Okay. Because I have not seen a 3D movie since I have had Vertigo. Sure. TBD. What would? What is your scheme? I don't understand this. I was going to take two left lenses. Right. 
and replace a right lens with a left and lens. And so what that would do would be it would make you watch the movie, but it, it so it wouldn't be a blurry movie, but it just also wouldn't be 3D. Yes, it would it would completely remove one of the wow, one of the layers of the mm-hmm. so it would be a normal movie to yeah. you. Wow, that's so interesting. What? But we'll never see it in action because they would not let me do it. Wow, I wish that you would have told me this um like six months ago, because I just threw out, I'm not joking, like four pairs of 3D glasses. So Arclight 3D glasses or like, because theirs are, no, these theirs are, are pretty crazy. Okay, these are proprietary. I, I actually happen to have a bunch of 3D glasses as well, because for a minute yes. in like the mid, mid to th- t- 2010, well, no, mid, whatever, oh, a while man. ago, they would... Uh, with movies, they would do like branded 3D glasses. Yes, those are the ones I just got rid of. It was like ones from when we saw Force Awakens. Oh shit! That were like you know whatever the fuck BB-8 glasses yeah. or whatever. And I was like, why am I why am I hoarding these? These are worth no money. Well, I have Phantom Menace 3D re-release. <laughs> That's different. 3D glasses. Those are worth keeping. And the the little arms are Darth Maul colors, oh, like the so cool. stripes. Um, but arc lights are their 3D glasses are kind of. No joke. Okay. They're they're like theme park 3D glasses. Kind okay. Of. So I, I don't think that our mm-hmm. sort of civilian 3D glasses <laughs> will work. I see. We don't have the military tech, mm-hmm. the uh, yeah, the spaceship tech. Which is unfortunate. Oh, well. Well, we'll make it work. Um, yeah, I hope so. Maybe we can just get us do you a second. Maybe we'll just like fabricate them in the theater. I was honestly thinking. Maybe we can too. make that happen. Because here's the thing. We'll bring some like little like snippers and some gorilla glue or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. I mean, worst case. Or maybe case, you stop being a baby. Worst case, I just close one eye, you know? <laughs> yeah. You just yeah, like the Metallica song. <laughs> Watch this movie with one close eye closed. Close one eye. <laughs> Keep one open. Um, do you want to get an article? Yeah, let's get an article this time. Hmm. Okay. Ottoman conquest of Lesbos. Wow. This those are maybe the three most fascinating words I've ever heard. Right. And this is like a real thing. Yeah. This is like a This is a true real article. It's not a story. It is a story, but it's not fake. Isn't that great about history? Mm. People that don't like history are just wrong because it's like stories. Sure. And they're just being told the wrong story. Interesting. You know? There's a better storyteller. You know what I was thinking about? I was listening to a podcast today. Uh huh. Strange. And I was like, "This is bad." Uh, no, <laughs> uh, I fully understand as an adult that the Civil War mm. was about slavery. Sure. Well, it was about states' rights. There's still that fucking poisoned part of my brain because <laughs> they were talking about this, and they. It, I, I forget what it was someone's very impassioned speech about like the South is a scourge. What you know, wow. whatever they're, they're fucking awful because they okay. have slaves and we're trying to not have slaves. Interesting. And I was like, well, but there was more to it. Like this, this fucking sick part of my brain was like, there was, there was more well, to it than that. Well, is, is there, so here's, here's my thing. Is there, is there more to it than that? I or was like, I'm willing to, I, I just want to know the truth. That's all. Like, was it here? I guess here's my question. Was it 99% about slavery or was it 95% about slavery? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I think that it was about states' rights in so much as it was about states' rights to own to slaves. slaves. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like, we want to we wanna open our bars later. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, in school, I, I don't know about your, your education. I don't remember it. But it was honestly stressed pretty heavy to us that it was – about states' rights. I love that the probably the impetus behind that was like, well, we want to be fair and balanced, you know. <laughs> but it's like, well, <laughs> no, no, man. <laughs> it it was like, oh gosh, it's unreal. It's like it's unreal how how like deep that is in yeah. my brain. And and even when someone is literally reading a speech that someone from the time wrote, I'm right. still like, yeah, well, but, yeah, but what does he know? <laughs> un unbelievable. Um. Let's read about Ottoman and Lesbos. If you had to guess when this took place. So here's the thing. The Ottoman Empire was around way later than people think. Like, I want to say... Th- I'm I'm reading this and I'm surprised. S- certainly through the 1800s, <clears throat> maybe into the 1900s. Like, maybe, like, through 1910 like, or something. Okay. 1462. 
I, okay, but how long was... I guess we can't... We'll never find we'll out. We'll never know. I'm pretty sure the Ottoman Empire was around, like... I believe you. I have no reason... I think they're, like, in World War One. I. I have no reason not to believe you. <laughs> Am I wrong? I don't know. All right. So, 1400s, though. Still, it's up there. Here we go. Last sentence of the article. The island... I'm, we'll come back. Sure. I'm skipping ahead. The island remained under Ottoman rule for four and a half centuries until captured by the Kingdom of Greece on 22nd November 1912. So... So, minimum through 1850... Or whatever. No, minimum through 1912. 1912. If it, if it was look still at that. Under, the, under Ottoman rule until 1912. Yeah, see? Okay, okay. That's pretty crazy. Wow, I guess I didn't know one or two things about the Ottoman Empire. Um, there, a lot of people don't know this. The Ottoman conquest of Lesbos was about states' rights. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first sentence. Um, it, the, the first <laughs> sentence says, quote, a lot of people don't know this. <laughs> uh, the Ottoman conquest of Lesbos took place in September 1462. The Ottoman Empire. September. 1462. Yeah. We had Septembers back in 1400s. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Imagine that. We did, though, right? Yeah, we totally did. But it's just like, September 1490. Like, what? Weird. Like, what's his name? What's that fucking idiot? Christopher Columbus, like, sailed the ocean blue in, like, March 3rd. Oh, you know what weird. I mean? Like, yeah, I kind of only think of months as, like, a 1900s yeah, and on thing. Me too. Me too, for sure. Isn't it weird that soon it'll be the twenties? Yes, it will be weird. Um, also, I'm I'm willing to give months back as far as 1700s because July Fourth happened in 1776. Smart, but <laughs> but beyond before the 1700s, no. But I mean, before the middle of 1776. Yeah, yeah. Um, what are we gonna call today? Mm, July. <laughs> we need to be more specific than that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's gonna be the twenties. It's it's gonna be confusing. the 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 longer science is let to run rampant, the more confusing things are gonna be. Let Agreed. Me, let me explain what I mean. By no that. need. I understand completely. Do you understand what I, I mean? I do. Because you and I will now have existed in a time where we'll need to know about two different sets of twenties. Yes. And we're only we're only lasting longer and longer. Mm-hmm. You know. So yeah. that's real tricky. Because before people used to that when they were like forty eight. And that was real convenient for remembering which twenties we're talking about. Yeah, the ones that the ones that just happened. The ones. Yeah, the twenty. The twenties, the, the roaring ones. And like we know people, well, probably maybe not anymore, but we knew, I certainly knew people who were alive for the twenties. Yeah, sure. I I mean, I'm sure there are certainly people that are alive. Maybe we don't know them, but yes. they were alive for both of the sets of twenties. But I've like probably I, I would assume my great grandparents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has yeah, to, have be. to be. Yeah, and I knew them very well. Right. Um, when was because decades have little fun little monikers. What's the last decade you can think of that has like a moniker? Because you have the Roaring Twenties, the shitty Thirties. What were the Thirties? Uh, the sad Thirties. Yeah. What was the Forties? Fuck. I think it's just the Roaring Twenties and the Gay Nineties. Isn't it funny that there's the Gay Nineties, but it's like, why do we know that? You and I. I don't know. And why were they gay? And we're talking I about the 1890s. Know. Yes. That's so strange. What was happening in 1890 that was like, those rules? Yeah. It makes me so curious. Yeah, I, we'll never know. And then you had the swing in 60s. Okay. Okay, so you had the, the, ni- the 1890s, the, the 20s, and the 60s. Is that the it? The roaring 20s. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for real. How stupid am I? I forgot what I was talking about already. <laughs> The Eisenhower 50s? The Nickelback 2000s. <laughs> yeah, that, honestly, for real. Well, there was, like, kind of that... No, I mean, this is not a thing, but, like, okay. the Millennium Times... The Willennium. The Willennium. Okay. No, I don't know. Do you think we'll ha- we'll start it again? No. People will be like, it's the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> I know they will. It's going to be so insufferable for the first two months of this next year before everyone stops doing that. It's... <laughs> That's the one nice thing about like memes is that they go away. Like, how long did the fat the the fat of the yo-yo last? Dude, well, that's still going, I guess. But I just read BuzzFeed came out with a fucking great article that was the one hundred. Boy, it is the twenty twenties, isn't it? The <laughs> okay, the one hundred greatest memes of the decade. Well, that's a good article. It was. How do you rank the hundred greatest memes? That's... It was extremely good. And what's fucking crazy? And looking at like music too is from like the yeah. beginning of the decade is sending me for a goddamn loop. Wow. Okay. But some some of the memes, like one of the ones that they mentioned, uh, Double Rainbow. 
Wow. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Double rainbow all the way. But it's... And something that the article talks about, which is... remember such an innocent time? That's... It mentions that and how, how what memes are have changed. Really? Because Double Rainbow is it's just a video. Like, yeah, that's the meme is this video. But yeah. now there are things that are like, you know, kind of remixed and okay, and and people take kind of more ownership over them. Oh, I see. So it's like a meme is now sort of like a template. Sort of. And it also talks a lot about how um, the like creators of things often don't get any like monetary benefit. Like the, right. the woman who coined on fleek just oh. brands started fucking saying on fleek sure. and she's like, I made that up. But Denny's is tweeting about it and making right, you know, a thousand dollars a tweet uh, or uh, you know, whatever. I don't know how people make money. Exactly. Wow. That's, I don't know it's, how people make money. Yeah. That's our problem. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's a really, that's really interesting because people don't have rights. <laughs> yeah, and another one that they talked about was uh, huh. Bed Intruder. What? Antoine oh, Dodson. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and how like, like that was your windows are snatching people up. Mm-hmm. And how that was like a big thing where uh, they particularly like uh, poor black people were being mm. like, you know, remixed and turned into like the the auto tune yeah, the yeah. news and stuff. Right, right. And like he got nothing. He got like kind of weirdly famous for a minute, but and then about got it. nothing. Sure. And yeah, it it was a very interesting article, we and do, we do know his name though, which is something. Yeah, that certainly is something. Hmm. Uh, and it also obviously talks about minions. <laughs> minions, ugh. Um, wow, I'd love to go back. And, I mean, uh, how do you even pick a hundred? It there, there were some there were some real. It was a blast good article. Past, yeah. yeah. Um, I wonder how many you and I just like could we we we, that's, we, we couldn't come up with any. But there were probably a thousand easily. Oh God, yeah. You know, and you'd recognize every single one. Um, another, I think it was in this article, but if not, I stumbled upon it in some other recount. Uh-huh. But Rebecca Black's Friday was yeah. this decade too. Yeah, man, what a good time for for nothing. Mm-hmm. Is that our memes? Hmm. Are they valuable or are they? Are they invaluable? <laughs> the economy of memes. Right. It's the economy of memes, stupid. What, what are you... I guess what I'm saying is like... Stonks. <laughs> Fuck me. Are they... Are they art? I think the answer is yes. Are, are they art? Is are that... they art? And I think the answer is yes. I They're think like, so. It's like Dada or... Yeah, or... and it's it's this weird like sort of public collaborative art. Yes, which I think is really fun that... Yeah, it's sort of like everyone's sort of getting together and en- engaging in the thing together, mm-hmm. which is nice. There, there is the unfortunate flip side where, it, uh-huh. which is, I, I'm sure this has happened in the past in history, but where art can be used like negatively, sure, with like Pepe and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, it gets it gets subverted in, in a not fun way. Um, that's true. It's sort of like the force where either way, people are getting you know they're being drawn to, together for a common cause, and it's either good or bad, and it's whatever you want it to be. Um, that's stupid. That's like <laughs> no memes are the force. Memes are the memes, force. Memes bind us. They uh, they flow through us. Luminous memes are we? <laughs> Not this crude matter. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you later. Have you heard of Orville Peck? Yes. What? Is, what's the name sound familiar? What He's is like that? a new country singer. Okay, but maybe not, dude. It's he only has one. His only album came out this year. He's also he wears a mask. Okay, he looks crazy. I'll show you. He wears a mask. This is the kind it's, of it's a green mask. He always wears a zoot suit. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> is he smoking? I don't know what that. Oh yes. Um, this is what he looks <laughs> it's like. Your fucking joke. <laughs> Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.